So let's get straight to the focus style. That's what you're here for. So let's let's get into this uh, in a little bit more um, of a direct approach. So first off, I've been talking about how different styles of meditation are good for particular goals or uh, needs. And so you'll see a list on this slide that it kind of outlines this for the focus style. So if your goal or a person's goal is to reduce distractibility, to increase your attention, reduce the amount that your mind wanders, improve concentration. You can hear that many, if not all of these are sort of a cognitive uh, kind of goals. So improved cognitive functioning. Um, so if that is the goal, if that's why somebody wants to meditate, is to improve their reaction time, improve their memory, improve their attention, then focus is probably the most reliable approach from a meditation standpoint to achieve those goals. So you could think of from a concern standpoint, you know, somebody who has ADHD or maybe cognitive decline for the elderly a mild traumatic brain injury. Um, those kinds of things are going to be, again, this is going to be sort of the ideal approach. Now, one thing to bring up right at the beginning is that if you already struggle with paying attention or have other cognitive concerns, obviously doing a focus style of meditation could be very challenging. And in fact, we expect it probably will be very challenging. And so again, this is why it's important for us to take a stepwise process in developing these skills. Everybody can do this. Even if you struggle with attention, even if you have ADHD or some other kind of cognitive concern, you can do a focus practice if you've got the right tools and the right support. So that's what we're gonna be getting into. Now, I kind of described this in an earlier uh, recording, but to break down what a focus style of meditation really is, kind of the formula for a focus style involves choosing an object for your attention. So it could be internal, it could be external. It could be your breath. It could be a mantra. A mantra is just a word or a phrase that you repeat over and over. It could be an image of the Buddha that you hold in your mind, or it could be something that you're looking at externally, a candle flame or something like that. The idea is to hold your attention on a single target. And of course, if you've ever done this before, you know what happens. The mind gets distracted after a few seconds. The mind wanders off. Then your job is to recognize that the mind wandered and bring it back to the target, whatever that is. So it, it actually sounds very simple. And as I just said, if you've ever tried this before, you know that it's actually quite difficult. So again, this is why we want to be able to offer uh, additional strategies and tools to make sure that you can actually engage with this. So, in an earlier um, recording, I, I mentioned the term uh, samatha as uh, something that a practice that falls within this focus category. And so this is a very typical, traditional Buddhist practice. And um, I brought it up because it just describes this so perfectly. So um, it's the Buddhist practice of calming the mind and its formations. What's the mind's formations? Well, thoughts, stories, narratives about you and the world, planning, memories, all of that are the mind's formations. This is done by practicing single pointed meditation, most commonly through mindfulness of breathing. So now this gets confusing, right? Because they're using the term mindfulness, um, but it's really an awareness. In this context, we're talking about an awareness 
of the breath. So this is a very uh, typical practice that you'll see in just about every style of meditation out there. So any Buddhist center you go to or just about any book you pick up on meditation, it's going to start with focusing on the breath. So that's kind of, again, the formula. Focusing on the breath, the mind wanders. You notice the mind wanders and you bring it back. Okay, so we're going to do this. <clears throat> Now, there's one thing I want to bring up right, right from the beginning, which is that for most people, when they try this type of practice, what happens is, and we say, well, focus on the breath. Well, there's a lot of ways to focus on the breath. And so for many people, what happens is they will focus on the breathing, but they keep changing what exactly they're paying attention to. So I would encourage you to pick one way of attending to the breath and kind of sticking with that for the duration of the, this particular practice. So a couple of options that usually work well for people is noticing the belly expanding and contracting with each breath. And you really do want it to be from the belly. This is how you're going to really expand the lungs is by allowing the belly to move with each breath. So simply noticing the sensation, the expansion and contraction of the belly. So that's one way that you can attend to the breath. Another way is noticing the sensation of air moving in and out of the nostrils. So it tends to be cool air coming in the nostrils, warm air coming out of the nostrils. And just noticing the sensation of the breath moving in and out of the nose with each breath cycle. That's another option. <clears throat> and then the third option is something called three-part breathing that many of you may be familiar with from you know, a yoga practice or something like that. And really all this is, is noticing the belly expanding first and then the breath moving up into the mid torso and then up into the chest. So one, two, three. And then when you exhale, letting it go from the chest first, down to the belly. So it's really just an expansion of kind of that first one of watching the belly expand and contract, but it's just moving it up into the chest and then back down with each breath cycle. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna ask you to pick one of those right now. So belly expanding and contracting, air moving in and out of the nostrils or the three part breathing. And for the next three minutes, we're going to practice this, okay? So even though you're watching this on a video, I want you to, to uh, follow along. I'm gonna do it with you right now. So we're gonna do a three minute uh, breath focus practice. And this will be important as we move forward because we're gonna use this as our baseline. And what I mean by a baseline is it's like, this is our starting point to notice what this is like to do this type of practice so that when we start to add or modify things, we have something to compare it to. This is an important part of this class and this process is reflecting on how we are engaging with particular practices, how they affect us and influence us so that as we make changes to our practice, we can really notice the difference. So I'm gonna set a timer for three minutes. And this is our starting place. So pick one of those types. I'm not gonna guide you through this. We're just gonna do it together um, silently. So you can do it eyes open or eyes closed. Identify your breath and here we go.
Okay. Here you go. Our first practice together. So three minutes. May have felt long, may have felt short. What I would like for you to do at this point is to reflect on that short practice that we just did for a few moments. Again, this is an important part of this process. So I've put a couple of questions on the next slide for you to consider. Um, you know, what made this practice difficult? It was only three minutes. And if you're like most people, your mind was pretty busy during that three minutes. So what makes this so hard? What makes it so hard to just hold your attention on the breath? What would have made it easier? What would have made it more motivating or interesting? So thinking about those questions in particular, but also did it feel like a long time or a short time? What other kinds of reactions did you notice for yourself? Did you have any emotional reactions? Um, did you feel frustrated? Was it calming? What was going on for you? Um, so if you are doing this as part of your certification process, then uh, please pause the recording right here and take a few moments to journal your reactions using these questions or anything else that comes to mind. Okay, so now's the time to pause, note your reactions, and then as you're ready, you can come back and we'll continue to move forward with some additional tools and tricks and tips. Thank you.